there is another that resembles a chapter out of a storybook, Mudbrick, where the wines are as smooth as the oh, view. This is like velvet. Oh, that's next. Oh, velvet's next. it's like velvet, but not yeah, velvet. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you're tapped in. <laughs> Touche. Owner Robin Jones was able to tap into her dream of a world-class winery and restaurant, starting with just the Mudbricks. So this really is a fairy tale. Yes, it is. How is it that you were able to create your dream? In your spare time, when nobody is pushing you, that's what you really should be doing. And that's how people shape their dreams here. Like Christine Hoffermatz Wheeler, internationally renowned jewelry designer who only stops working when someone rings the bell. <laughs> what a beautiful view! Yes. The view that inspires her work, along with her favorite plumber, her dad. The smell of metals, the fire. So you've incorporated plumbing skills in your jewelry baking? Yes. And this is the oil can for my dad. That looks like it's even older than Dorothy's oil can from The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> the Tin Man would have a field day here with Christine. It seems she has a million tools here for melding, cutting, hammering, pounding, and sawing, and doing it all herself. One ring took me really 30 years to complete. If Wahiki is Oz, then Christine is the wizard. I bought the stone in my apprenticeship 48 years ago. Some pieces take a bit longer than others. Oh, 48 years <laughs> to perfection. <laughs> this is called Hawaii dreaming. Christine, I'm taking Hawaii for a walk. You heavily can take Hawaii for a walk. <laughs> <laughs>